Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel today. It's time for February favorites, and February was a good month for me. No major drama, no major complaints. So I've got a collection of the things I've been loving this past month, including, but not limited to, beauty, skin, hair, and a random, which I will throw in at the very end. By the way, I've been playing with a lot of new things, or new to me things. Um, I'm currently wearing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I will be doing a review on that. I also got my hands on the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek um, collaboration eyeshadow palette, and so I played with that today. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. This has been a lot of fun, and I would love to do a tutorial using this palette. So if that's something you'd like to see, then um, definitely leave me a comment down below. So if you want to know what made my list for February, then just keep watching. So I've mentioned before how I love the simple micellar cleansing water. I've actually just gotten my hands on the Bioderma version of that, and so I've been testing that out, and that's been a lot of fun, and I will be doing a video on that actually pretty soon. Also, I have made a lot of plans. But one thing that I've been loving lately and I feel is absolutely necessary to complement whatever micellar cleansing water you're using um, is actually a cleansing oil, and I've been using it as a step one. I've been loving this month the one by Garnier. It's just called the Nourishing Cleansing oil. I need a cleansing oil as a step one when it comes to cleaning my face at the end of the day because I spend a good portion of the day and a lot of money on the products in order to get my makeup to stay put. I've got oily skin and I do not want it sliding off my face. I also prefer a medium coverage foundation. Medium to full on those days when I need it. Kind of going along with the whole concept of what a micellar water is. It is a simple, gentle cleanser. That stuff is not going to cut the makeup. You need to break down and dissolve the makeup, and that is what a cleansing oil does. And then you can take your micellar cleansing water as just kind of a follow-up step to remove any of the residual makeup, any of the cleansing oil itself, and you have now managed to, in combination, remove your makeup and not dry out your face, which that's a double whammy jammy right there. Whammy jammy? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> So I was introduced to a new hair care and skin care line, and by introduced, I mean that they sent me stuff and asked me to try it, <laughs> which I'm actually really glad that they did because I'm not even sure I would have otherwise ever found out about them. So this brand, it's called Pura Dior. I will link it down below. They are a 100% all natural certified USDA organic. That sounds really good. I don't really know the details of what that means, but that sounds like that's something you would like to have earned. <laughs> the brand's products are also cruelty-free. Yay! Hypoallergenic, doesn't have sulfates, doesn't even have gluten. I never even thought about there being gluten in hair and skin products, but hey, I learn something every day. By the way, I'm just gonna put it out there real quick that there's this whole drama on YouTube about being given free stuff and that means you automatically like do this very favorable review. I just wanna say I'm a grown up. <laughs> so just because somebody gives me something doesn't mean that I'm gonna sell my soul in an instant and lie. Um, but also, ironically, I think I was more critical of this brand because they had sent it to me. And so I had to like, overly make sure that my impressions were not swayed and so I set the bar pretty high. They sent me a bunch of stuff. Let me tell you about the things that I actually really do like and will in fact be repurchasing. The first thing I want to talk about is what they call their healing conditioner. They have a variety of shampoos and conditioners but this is the healing conditioner. I wash my hair more frequently than most and so I'm constantly concerned about making sure it is well nourished and not stripped of all its natural oils. This is an amazing conditioner. It's nice and thick, does a really nice job of moisturizing but rinsing really, really clean. Plus the smell of it is amazing. It reminds me of a spa. It's got lavender and vanilla extracts in it and they're really subtle so that they're not, they're not overwhelming, but they just, I don't know, they make me smile. So if I'm gonna smile in the shower, why not? When it comes to their skincare though, that is what I am all over. I'm actually not even sure which of these two I like better, so in no particular order. They have an Argon Oil Organic Face Cream, and it comes in this fancy little jar, and the reason it comes in a jar is because you can't pump it out because it's so thick. That would have been awful if it just bloobed right out there. <laughs> Now, ironically, I have oily skin, so you would think, why would you want such an intense, moisturizing face cream? 
Well, as it turns out, you know, I'm constantly working on making sure that I'm not breaking out and fighting my acne and making sure that I'm controlling oil production and I, I use products to deal with that. Well, every once in a while, my face decides it's gonna like freak out and suddenly get very dry and react somewhat harshly sometimes to those products that normally don't give me a problem. And in those moments, I really want something that will nourish my skin. This cream is fabulous. I use it in the evenings only. It does not have any SPF. And I have to say, I think it's actually improved my oily skin because I'm actually nourishing it appropriately. And so my oil production factories are like, oh my God, we've got enough going on up there. We don't need to send in our own batch of oil in order to compensate. Finally, the last product that I'm absolutely loving from them is their argan oil. 100% pure argan oil. I would say that this resembles the Tarte Maracuja oil because it's very nice and thin. This one, and when you drop it on your face, if you use a little dropper and drop it on your face, it will begin to run, which I like because I don't want something that's so thick and that you have to really work into your skin. So it's an argan oil, you can use it on your face. I love using it around my nose and around my mouth because I have allergies and I'm always blowing my nose and it is always getting extra dry in that area. You can also use it on your hair, on your cuticles, you know, all of those places that need additional moisturizing. However, I have never, when I've purchased those other ones in the stores, I have never used that product in those ways because they're always so expensive. This is less than half the price for the same amount of product. And so that alone makes me feel much more comfortable using it. Pura Dior was nice enough to offer you guys actually a 25% off discount code, which I will include in the description box below. And I just wanna say, includes my name, which was just so fancy. <laughs> Okay, let's talk beauty. Um, I discovered this on YouTube and it's the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. Um, comes in the pretty little tube, which I love because you would think black mascara, black tube, and they bucked the curve right there and went with a blue tube. <laughs> the little things that make me excited. Anyway, this is a very small but long wand, which makes it pretty fabulous when you are putting mascara on your lower lashes. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't smudge, which is also really great. Some of the other companies like Clinique that makes a lower lash mascara, that wand is like the short. I mean, it's, and I, I can't, I don't have the patience for that. I picked up a couple products from Kiko, which I had to get online. They make a wide variety of products and they're pretty affordable. A couple things that I've actually been loving right now from them are their um, long lasting shadow sticks, which that does not require any explanation. I've been liking two shades. This one is called 21. <laughs> and it's just a really pretty, um, peachy color, which I think works really great all over the lid. I think will work wonderfully come summertime and spring, although I am wearing it right now. These guys really do stay in place, which I appreciate. The other one that I've been loving is called number 28, and it's a kind of like a frosty champagne, a beigey champagne, but not overwhelmingly flashy. I've actually been using this on the inner corner of my eyes. Um, what I like about it is that it stays put. I tend to touch my eyes during the day. I have dogs, so there's constantly like dog hair like floating all around and like a magnet, it winds up in my eyes. The other thing I love from them, which I almost promise you does not have a name now that I've learned, it must have a number. Yes, it's 208. Um, people have been talking about this for a little while. This actually is an eyeshadow, but it is a very gold shimmery shadow. So folks have been using this um, duplicated as a highlighter and from what I understand, they're thinking it resembles the MAC um, Whisper of Guilt from back in the day. I don't actually have that, but I have a variety of other gold highlighters. And I think this actually compares very well. It's not glittery, which I think is very important, but it does have really intense pigmentation. It has nice reflect in it. Um, I like that the case is pretty small because sometimes the highlighter containers are huge. One, for travel, that's no good. And two, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to go through those. I like what it says on the cover, Makeup Milano. Couple of things that I've been loving from Bobbi Brown, and I really feel like I haven't explored her brand. I do love her under eye corrector, and I do love one of her bronzers. I really need to delve more into her brand because every time I wind up picking up 
a random item here or there, I wind up liking it. The first thing I want to talk about is one of her eyeshadow singles. This is called Black Plum. And what I love about it is that it is an excellent combination between being a black and being kind of plummy. I love using it on the outer corner of my eye when I don't want to be too purple and I don't want to be just chocolatey brown. My first impression was that it didn't have a lot of pigmentation, so you do have to sometimes double layer. But what's amazing about this is that it stays put. I hate when you apply a shadow and you either try to blend it out and half of the saturation of the color disappears or halfway through the day, you start losing the intensity of the shadow on your lid. This stays put. The other thing I got from Bobbi Brown that I've been really, really liking and I'm so mad that I do and it took me forever to suck it up and actually make the purchase, but I had been watching it. You know, when you like eye it out of the corner of your eye, it always makes your shopping list like when you go to Sephora and then you never walk out the door with it. This is one of her brushes. This is her face blender brush. I live for my much more affordable Morphe brushes, Real Technique brushes, Sonia Kashuk brushes. And I was like, I don't need to buy expensive brushes anymore. And then something about this brush, I, I honestly, once I bought it and I was like, there's no way, cause it's in the 50s. It is in the 50s. I tried really hard to find a dupe for it in my collection and there is just something about how thick it is. It's like the perfect surface area in that when I apply bronzer, because that's what I use it for is bronzer, it just goes in the right area. I don't, I can't explain it. And you know what? Sometimes you just get to a point where you just don't ask any questions anymore. You just pay the credit card bill and you use it with delight and you don't think about it anymore. Let me close with my random favorite of the month. The last time I did a random favorite, it was so hard to physically demonstrate and I feel like this is going to go that way as well. Okay, so this comes from an infomercial. Is anybody a fan of infomercials out there? I love them and I am a sucker for them all the time. Anyway, I saw this. And I was like, where have you been all my life? So this is called, oh my God, it actually just kind of looks like a see-through diaper. <laughs> this is called the purse pouch. Picture the front seat of your car, right? So you've got passenger and driver. Now in my passenger seat is always my small dog, Fred. And in the back seat is always my big dog, Bella. They go with me everywhere. They follow me like puppies. Is that where that comes from? Is that where that phrase comes from? So the only place I would ever have to put my bag would be on the floor. And that's gross, because I don't want to put my bag on the floor. I pay good money for my bag. Floor is gross. What this does is it's got two loops and you wrap one side around the headrest of the passenger seat, you wrap the other side around the headrest of the driver's seat and you attach it at the bottom. And what that allows you to do is put your handbag on the center console so that it does not fall out the back when you accelerate. It winds up being a little net that catches it and makes it now a pocket for you to put your handbag. You're creating a wall at the back of that center console so now you can put your handbag on the console, you can stuff it all the way back and it sits actually now behind you when you are in the driver's seat. This is one of those things where I'm like, why didn't I think of that first? I could be like a kajillionaire right now. That's it, I got nothing left to say. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. What have you been loving in February? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Stay tuned for a number of product reviews and tutorials. I am having such a good time with that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you did. I promise you that I am working hard to make it worth your time. I am on Instagram and Twitter, so if you have a minute, check me out over there. Thank you again for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And in the meantime, thanks. So I've got a very small collection of all of the things that I've been loving for February, including but not limited to two, limited to two, come on. Ah. Anyway, rather than just use just <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel today. It's February. It's going to be a very long video. Please let me know in the description com the description comments below. Meh. I love when I find the random for the month because I just think I just think holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Meh. Ironically, I always say that I've got very dry, very dry. I do. No, I don't think I've ever said that in my life that I have very dry skin. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. But honestly, this one was a game changer. Changer. This is Casey.
Oh, that's a good look right there. Whew. Wow, that's like major hair. <laughs>